Well, we're making a wall hanging today with Joe Pearson from Michaels, and you used a canvas board to make this wall hanging, right? We did. You know what? Kind of looking at something a little bit different, you know, instead of t kind of taking the scrapbook onto the wall. Mm -hmm. And so this is a great little canvas board. Here's what we have here. And of course, you know, it comes in different sizes, so you could use whatever you wanted. This happens to be a... Um, eight by 10. Eight by 10. And so this is what we've started with. Now, what we did... The, the very first step we did is we painted this with crackle paint. Mm -hmm. And I think they'll be, you'll be able to see when it dries, you can see the cracks in it. But you know what? Here, I'm going to give you this and let you All set right. that over there. But let's take some, we have some uh, just burnt umber and some extender. Okay. okay. Now, is this the burnt umber? Is that like a, a regular acrylic just, paint? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So now you can either brush it on. Oh, let you do, I that, get to do that. Or okay. you, you know, if you wanted to, you could take a you know a paper towel or whatever, and so see so you can see oh, where it's just yeah. adding. And just if you want to get darker at the here. edges, you know, we could do that too. Uh huh. We could take. And look, we'll just go along the edges here. Oh, that's cool. It's it kind of like when we chalk edges on paper. Right. Then it just gives that shadow effect. And then is it best to start with like a light coat because we can always make it darker? You know rather what? Than Sometimes, you know, more is not better. Yeah. Because, you <laughs> know, it's, more. We, can, we can put more on. It's just really hard to take a whole lot out of a whole lot of it off. So I think right. the best thing is to do is just start with, you know, and when it's dry, maybe even when it's dry, if you think it needs to be a little bit darker, then just go back and add it. Okay. So we're just going to set that aside. All right. And then uh, I want to show you what we did here, and I'm going to let you do another piece. Oh, we'll okay. let that, since this is wet All over right. here. All right, do you want me to do it on this one, or should Let's we? Let's do it on this one. Okay. We're going to add some more here. We'll just this add. is just a piece of um, sequin, like ribbon, sequin uh -huh. ribbon. So we'll say, we're going to do the same thing. Honeycomb ribbon. Thing. That honeycomb was it. There it is. That's, That's the other name we were trying <laughs> to think. So, again, we're just going to take a little bit of that burnt umber with some retarder, and you're almost going to just, you're going to use this as a stencil. You know what's really fun? is look around the house and see what other things you can use besides just a regular pre-cut stencil. Bubble wrap works fabulous. You know, just put some uh -huh. paint on it and you can stamp with it. So this just kind of adds a background to it. There's also great scrapbook paper that and you can use. this is a paper towel. Just a paper towel. You, could, you know, you could use a sponge. You could use a spouncer. You could use whatever you wanted. And if you think you've got some on that you don't like, then look. We're just going to take it, just take some of that dab off it right there. Off. And you get a different look every time. It's always unique. It I is. I like working with paint. And it's easy cleanup because it's water-based. Right. Well, and you know what? The, the crackle paint comes in all kinds of colors. So if green is not your color, then just, you know, pick use out another color. Use something else. I know. <laughs> so now we have some great scrapbook paper. What we did is we just made this great little birdhouse. I'm going to set this aside here. And we're going to use gel medium, and that's what we're going to put. Oh, I'm going to take our brush, brush back then. here. Okay. okay. I'm just going to wipe this off here a little bit. It doesn't matter. And we're just going to use the gel medium, and we're going to put it, we're going to use it as our glue. Now, we didn't put this on with double stick tape because you really want it to have a nice coat on here. So we've just... Well, this way it will seal it all over. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So now I'm going to let okay. you put that where you'd like it. We'll and we have this great bird that we cut out of also another piece. You know, there's such gorgeous scrapbook paper. Oh, I know. It's not just prints anymore. It's got pictures, and there's some that, that have uh, kind of old-fashioned faces and things that you can go back and alter. Mm -hmm. So it's really fun. And then you can just go back. And now, you know, when we get it down on there, if you decide that you need to put some more coats, then we can just keep putting a heavy coat on there and then go back and, and seal over the top okay, of it, too. Okay, because we're so going to we put, put it over on the top, too, yes. right? Okay, yes. now this is going to go, let me see your... We got, oh, we got ah. a little bird coming up here. Let's look. I think I'm it's looking kind of, at the branch, and I think, he's I think he's going to go like this, We can this, put him anywhere Joe. we want. I think there that looks go. great. And then just press him down nice Look at this fun tape. This is just a, um, it's almost like a newsprint tape. Yeah, like a and printer just, tape. Yeah, so Tear it off look what we did. We just put some fun pieces anywhere that we wanted to. And it's pre, you know, it's already self-adhesive. So it's going to stay on here. And, and I think when we're all done, what we need to do then again is take another coat of the gel medium. We'll have it all on there and we'll, we'll cover it up. But we still got a couple of things to do. Okay. Let's put a rubber, let's stamp some words on it. There's some great clear acrylic stamps. And we're going to use the archival ink here. Right, because we want something that is going to be permanent, right? right? So when we so put the gel medium we'll over the top. We'll stamp our words on there. Okay. What's so fun about this is there's so many different kinds of elements. You know, this just isn't scrapbook paper on <laughs> canvas. It's a little bit of everything. It what is. What do you have for uh, stamping down? I'm trying to get it even all over. You know over. what? What's nice about the clear stamps, you know, when you're, when you're rubber stamping, you know, it's always like stamp and press down really really hard mm -hmm. and but and don't rock it okay. so 
And you know, with this, because this is kind of artsy looking, that even if it doesn't stamp all the way the first time, or even doesn't stamp all the way, then maybe put some paper over it. And hide, I, I, exactly. You know, maybe hide a little boo-boo if a you think bit that's of what. Absolutely. Well, with it being a clear stamp, I've tried to match that up again. because And it might, and if it, and if it doesn't, you yeah. know what? We're, we're going to put, maybe we'll put one of our fun little uh, acrylic pieces over here. Oh, that's a great here. idea. I like this. These are these little acrylic elements. And look, what we did is we just cut out a piece of scrapbook paper. And we're actually going to take some dimensional varnish, and we're just going to take it and put it all over the little acrylic block that we have here. And it self-levels, which is really kind of cool about this. So then we're going to take our picture. We've just cut out a little scrapbook piece, and we're going to put that down on there. And of course, by the magic of TV, we have to turn it over, and I'm going to show you. We have these already dry. Okay. So what this has done is it's just sealed it on the back. And look, they come in different sizes. So now let's just take the same gel that we're going to use and let's just use that as the glue that we're going to put down on. Okay. Because I want to show you another little trick here. There we go. And spread it all over the top. And it'll just use, and it dries clear. So even if it oozes out a little bit, it's, you know, yeah, it's fine. Cool. And you know, there right really there. isn't any rhyme or reasoning to, uh, <laughs> to how to put it together. You know, these are just some fun little elements that we have alcohol inked. To change the color on it them. Is. Very cool. Now, and, okay, how are we going to punch the hole you know in here? This is just a punch that will also set a grommet. And what's really cool about this is it will punch through metal. It'll punch through. It's going to look how easy it punched oh, through the canvas was. board. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go back, add a fun little eyelet. And then if you want it to be done with just this and a piece of chain, you're finished. Or look, you can go back and we added two more pieces. And different sizes. Different sizes. Jill, this is wonderful. Isn't this a Perfect great idea? For every home. It, it really is. is. Thank you Thanks. so much. <laughs>